Using a mix of plant filter beds along with more technical filtration equipment is referred to as a hybrid natural swimming pool. This is how to use a standard koi keeper's filter and power it with bubbles. Okay, I've got a tank here, which is a sort of round pond uh, full of fish. Well, there's not that many fish in at the moment, uh, but the idea is that I'm going to do a bit of sort of fish farming. It's an experiment. Anyway, as part of that experiment, I've bought a second-hand koi filter. I picked this up for about 300 quid, but if you buy these things new, they're about three times that price, but nearer, nearer, nearer a thousand pounds. And the idea here is very simple. The water goes into five different chambers. It goes down and then up and down and up and down and up. And each time the water is forced down or uh, gently flows down and it has to come back up, it loses some of that sediment. And the sediment collects, collects in each of the five um, uh, drops at the bottom there and there's valves there and you can let out the sediment and the, um, the gunk as it builds up. Now, normally these are driven by a, an electric pump, either a submersible pump in one of these chambers or a separate sort of swimming pool type pump. I'm, however, I'm using an airlift pump. <clears throat> so, air is just supplied via a compressor through this um, uh, six millimeter diameter pipe, uh, plastic PVC pipe used in irrigation and it's inside a 40 millimeter diameter pipe and that pipe is going down about a meter and a half so it goes down into the ground here and outside the outside part of this pipe is a four inch diameter pipe so this pipe is just sitting within this wider pipe and the end of this pipe it's actually closed off the outflow from the filter here goes into this pipe and just completely fills fills this pipe so this is just acting as a as a deep reservoir in effect the airlift pump operating inside here there's an air stone down inside that pump um, brings the water up here and lets it flow down back into the pond take water from the pond into the filter all I've done is just put in these pipes and they are just siphons, so the water is being siphoned back into the filter. So the water is being circulated around. The advantage of using an airlift pump as well is that um, what happens is that the bubbles, if I stick this <coughs> into the tank there, gives it a bit of back pressure and we'll find that bubbles start to appear here and the bubbles are a protein skimmer you get organic molecules in the water and they start to sort of uh, foam and precipitate out and um, and if you allow the bubbles to drift outwards out another another outlet then it will actually be removing protein effectively from the from that pool uh, to the um, well, to the garden, well, it's a bit of a mess. So if I pipe that off somewhere, that would be really good plant fertilizer. So that's a secondary uh, benefit, is this protein skimming effect. And the whole thing hardly uses any energy. It's using um, a compressor, which is, on, which is about 40 watts. Let's take a closer look at the construction. The 110 millimeter, four inch, diameter pipe has the bottom end capped off and is sunk into the ground. This pipe fills with water up to the level at the outlets of the filter and acts as a deep reservoir for an airlift pump made from a 40 mm diameter pipe. Held inside this pipe is an air stone. When air is pumped into the air stone, bubbles rise and lift the water up. This then flows down and into the pool. Siphon tubes are placed between the first chamber of the filter and the pond. These tubes allow the water from the pool or pond to replace the water pumped from the filter. Water is drawn in and flows from the filter, creating a flow through all the filter chambers. If you were building a new pool, you could fit a bottom drain and feed this directly into the filter. Sediment is removed as it passes through the filter and collects in the bottom of each chamber. 
With an additional T-piece fitted to the 40mm airlift pipe, this can serve as a protein skimmer for further removal of organic matter.